Do you have a message for Dimitri Bivol now that he's here? He know already. Dimitri, uh, Arthur yeah. Baturbiev says that you know already. What is it that you know? I don't know already. <laughs> he know, he know. I, I tell you, no. For sure. Light heavyweight boxing is about to witness a war. Two undefeated titans, Artur Bedarbiev and Dmitry Bivol, are set to collide on June 1st in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. This highly anticipated fight will crown the undisputed champion of the division. The fight is still more than a month away, but the fireworks have started even before the opening bell. Dmitry Bivol isn't shying away from the magnitude of his upcoming fight with Artur Bedarbiev. Bivol sees this as the culmination of his lifelong dream. He told, I'm happy because when I signed a contract to be a pro boxer, I had a goal to be undisputed champion. Bivol credited his impressive victory over Canelo Alvarez in 2022 as his ticket to this grand stage. He acknowledged Better Beef's danger, but welcomed the challenge. Bivol stated, Every time when I'm on my training camp, I think my opponent is the most dangerous opponent in the world. He is powerful, and it makes me more excited to fight this guy because I love challenges. Eddie Hearn will be hopeful that Dmitry Bival can get past Arthur Bedarbiev this summer after labeling the heavy-handed fighter as arrogant. Hearn has an excellent relationship with Bival after promoting him for many years, and he's confident his man can get the job done. Yeah, I'm just, listen, I thought, just to spice it up a little bit, I don't really like him, to be honest with you, better bit. No, I think he's arrogant, rightfully so, because he's incredibly dangerous and he really believes in himself. But at the same time, we're here to talk about the fight. Yeah. And I just said to Dimitri after the head's head, I said, um, excuse my French, I won't say the word. I said, let's come up. Yeah. Let's take him to school. Yeah. Because I really want to beat him. Because I thought Callum Smith was going to do the job. He wasn't good enough. Yard wasn't good enough either, unfortunately. And that shows you how good Better Biev is. Bit of old special. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be a tough, tough, tough fight. So it should be for the undisputed championship. The matchroom chief previously promoted Callum Smith against Betterbiev in January, with the Russian prevailing by brutal stoppage, a result which Hearn had not predicted. Hearn has also previously been quick to praise Betterbiev's boxing ability in the past, but their surprise rivalry will add some needle into the showdown. He stated, These are two tremendous fighters, two world champions. Artur Betterbiev beat Anthony Yarde. He beat Callum Johnson, who we put in with him many years ago. Callum did drop him. He beat Callum Smith as well. And Dimitri Bivol beat Craig Richards and beat Lyndon Arthur as well. I just feel this man to my left. Bivol boxing IQ is on another level, and it needs to be against one of the most dangerous men, Beter Beef, in the sport of boxing. Artur Betterbeef is a wrecking machine, but this man, Bivol, is a top pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport. The 39-year-old champion may have taken issue with Hearn, predicting he will be knocked out before, but he is once again confident of doing the job. Baderbeev could seal a huge fight against Jayo Pattaya if he beats Bivol in a cruiserweight switch where he could become world champion at another weight. He is extremely confident of doing so. He stated, I'm not old, only 39. I'm not old. Of course, it's always different. The fight is different. You're preparing differently. I'm not learning studying him for a long time. I've just watched a couple of his fights for the first time. We just started to learn from him. We will prepare. It's important to look for the KO, yes, but I just want to win, and I will win. Trainer Teddy Atlas is siding with Dmitry Bivol to use his titanium mind to defeat Artur Betterbiev in their undisputed championship. Atlas feels that Bivol is too skilled for the stronger Betterbiev, and he sees it as a fight that Dmitry will control with his ability. So I think Bivol controls range, he counter punches well, he's, he's defensively very solid, but here's the most important reason why I give Bivol a chance. He's mentally solid too. You gotta be mentally solid. Forget about the physical stuff. Yeah, you gotta be good. You gotta be mentally, you, you gotta, that brain's gotta be surrounded by titanium. And I don't mean to keep the blows from hurting you. I mean to keep the pressure from sinking you, the pressure from melting you, the pressure from evaporating you. Teddy believes that Bivol's habit of throwing three punch combinations could get him in hot water against Betterbeef because he's going to get countered if he dares to throw more than one shot at a time. He's like, where better be if it's like being in a a tank with a great white. <laughs> Bevo is like being in a tank with piranha. He, they take little pieces. He takes little pieces. At the end of the day, again, you're not in good shape. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not worth a lot because you're you're not whole anymore. Bevo frustrates you. He breaks you down too. 
but he does it in pieces like Piranha. He doesn't do it like the Great White, where he just freaking eats you, you know, like Boogie Aga. So <laughs> you don't give him the credit. You don't say, oh, yeah, he's got that constitution. He's got that warrior spirit. He got, he's got it. He just approaches it differently. He uses different weaponry. Teddy does think Better Beef has a chance of winning if the referee who works with the fight permits him to work inside without pulling him away. If the referee is the type that doesn't allow inside fighting, Better Beef has no chance of winning. Atlas added, The choice of the referee will be very important. If I was involved with these fighters, I would be on top of that. If I am Better Beef, I better get a referee that allows me to fight when I get close. Otherwise, I am dead. If I am Bivol, then I better get a referee that is maybe inclined to let you tie up a little bit. Not that Bivol won't fight you when he has to. He will. Trainer Steven Edwards commented on this summer's undisputed fight. Edwards feels that Better Beef's power and Terminator style of stalking his opponents and breaking them down will be too much for the pure boxer Bivol when they fight. Edwards stated, Better Beef is like a Terminator and he sort of chips away at you like a demolition crew. With Baderbiev, he doesn't give you that impression when he's punching. They're not loud. They're not winded up. They're just everything from the shoulders. He puts the right amount of tension on his punches. Edwards believes that Baderbiev can stop Bivol. He believes that the unbeaten Baderbiev goes after his opponents, getting inside to chip away at them until they eventually succumb to his shots. He added, If you ask me who I favor, Baderbiev will defeat Bivol. I know most of the time, the boxer wins this fight, but I like Better Beef. There are some things that I've seen. I just don't think he can overcome that. Bivol, you have to have a special level of durability to overcome what's going on with Better Beef. I've watched Bivol in fights where he's had an outclassed opponent and he won't engage. So there's nothing wrong with that, but you got to secure the win. But something tells me that he won't be able to take the punishment that he needs to take to deal with Better Beef. Chinese heavyweight Jilai Zhang who has formed a reputation for being one of the division's most feared fighters, believes the fight will end in a knockout finish. He stated, They're both great fighters, but Better Beef will hurt him and probably end this fight with a knockout. I think Better Beef's power will overwhelm Bivol's in and out footwork and his skill set. I think Better Beef is just way too strong. Roy Jones Jr. analyzes the upcoming fight between Dimitri Bivol and Arthur Better Beef in boxing and share his insights. No. 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 Not 50 50. One. Better Beef is 38 years old. Better Beef has been down. Yes, yes, yes. Beef has never been down. Beef has been there with who at the time was pound pound the best, which was Canelo Alvarez. Made him look like nothing. So I'm not saying it's 50 50. Better Beef got everything to show me to bring it back up to 50 50. Right now, Beef has, has the advantage 60 40. Now, Better Beef is a hell of a guy and a hell of a fighter and has an awesome power. But he also has been down. So, it's like when I look at that, I always look at stuff from um, where I used to see things there for. Yeah. And the way I saw it, if somebody else knocked you down, I gotta get you down. You understand me? Now, that's a hell of a push to walk through to get him down, though. So, it's a very dangerous game that people all gotta play because Bill Bill is the best puncher probably ever in that division. Yeah. You understand me? So, it's a great fight. If, you, if, it's, if it's 50 50, it's because of his puncher power. Maybe he may land and maybe. Banky Pounds gives his prediction on the Better Beef versus Bevel boxing match in a YouTube video. I think he's gonna stop uh, Bevel, man. Mm. I, think he gonna stop, I think he gonna stop me. There's no, 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 no uh, slack on Bevel because Bevel, he, he has excellent mechanics, man. He got excellent, you know, distance and range and punching and power. But let me tell you something, man. And, and, and you know, some of y'all here can attest to this. There's one thing you can't measure when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, Mortal Kombat, man, and that's that's the wheel, man. I believe, I believe better be the wheel is stronger than here. Ben Whitaker will one day hope to be at the level currently being operated by Better Beef and Bivol, and he's had his say on the fight that will see all four world titles up for grabs at 175 LBs. Whitaker is still learning his craft in the pro game, but he's fully aware of who sits at the top of his division, and he's had his say on the upcoming contest. He stated, That is a great fight, if I am honest. Some days, I have picked Bivol due to his speed. But after that Callum Smith fight, and it is now like to me, oh, okay. Because a lot of people think he is just an aggressive, brawling knockout artist and this and that. But he does have a great boxing brain. He edges in slowly, sometimes making you throw hard and then countering you. He is very clever. So after that last performance, if I am truly honest, I am now actually pushing more towards Baderbeef. 
However, Archer's trainer Mark Ramsey thinks otherwise, as he thinks that Bevel delayed this fight, thinking that Archer will get old, but instead, he got better. It's going to be a very important fight. There's nothing personal here for Artur. He just wants to beat the guy in front of him. And at the end of the day, he just really wants to win. This is his main thing. He is just very competitive. He is always training and in the gym. We've just been waiting and waiting. They are hoping that one day Artur is going to get old, but he is just getting better and better. Sean Porter seems to appreciate the way Bivol tackled the tail-ending rounds. The former world champion mentioned that he always liked boxers who had a repertoire of punches to execute. He wrote on X, Nice turn up there from Bivol as he approaches the end of this. I love a fighter that has multiple gears. Please go back to it. Joe Smith Jr., who faced both the fighters, he breaks it down better Beef versus Bivol. Um, they're both just very accurate, you know, their timing and everything is very well, and uh, you know, they're just great all-around boxers. Both of them are you know, amazing fighters. If you, if those two were to match up, kind of unify the division, do you lean one way or the other on, on who would win that fight? Um, I think it makes for a great fight. I think Bibble has a little bit more, like, because he, he just, he punches, he throws more punches. A little more busy, he has a little more in and out movement. And you know, Viterbi, you know, he's he's just he's very strong and accurate. So, it, you know, you don't know, it could play out. Either person could take that fight home. Abel Sanchez, boxing trainer, thinks it's a great matchup, and he stated, Great matchup, both fighters with extensive successful credentials. I think they are being pushed into a fight neither fighter wants, politically, although our sport needs it. The best taking on the best. I believe the outcome will come down to the corner that makes the best adjustments. In my opinion, Betterbeef has the most experienced corner. Mark Ramsey will be able to reach back on experience, will direct and provide the calm instructions to win a tough, very close 12-round fight. Raleigh Romero thinks that Betterbeef is a monster. Betterbeef versus Bivol needs to happen. Okay, Bivol better be as who if that fight ever went down. Eventually Bivol wants that fight. That's not like a really good fight. That fight needs to happen. I'm sorry, what? That's a good fight needs to happen. Russia's Bivol box is better than Smith, but Hearn stressed that the long-reigning 33-year-old champion must earn better beef's respect in a bout, and he stated, Dmitry Bivol has tremendous movement, but you've got to make a dent. It's very difficult to outbox him over 12 rounds. He's going to wear you down. He's going to force the pressure, and like I said, the shots around the back of the head, the shots on the ears, they really hurt. And I think Dmitry can do it, but it's the only fight for both guys now. George Groves even thinks that better beef will win but he believes that Bivol will be more of a challenge than Callum Smith was. George stated, You have to have a really good jab to establish, create, and maintain that distance with better beef. If you don't have that jab that keeps him busy, honest and at long range, then he will eventually just march you back. Every time Smith had his back on the ropes, he was in severe danger. Bivol is much more comfortable boxing off the ropes, but I think better beef the favorite. Maybe there's a recency bias there. I will probably go with better beef win, but I wouldn't be confident in it. Lyndon Arthur has spared better beef before, but he still believes that Bivol is the better and smarter boxer in this matchup. Lyndon stated, I was asked a while ago who I thought would win between Bivol and Betterbeef. I always thought that the better boxer would always beat the better fighter. I've spared Betterbeef, and he's not just a brawler. He's not just a strong, come-forward fighter. He's actually got a boxing brain, and he's good at what he does. But I do believe Bivol has got the better boxing ability and would come through if they ever fought. Demetrius Andre thinks that Betterbeef's power is ridiculous and scary. I'm going with the Paterbeef kid. The Terminator. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know what, yeah, like, he kind of reminds me a little, like, what he reminds me, like, of the old Arthur Abraham, I think it was, when just, like, he didn't do much, and then pop, pop, drop, like, God, yo, whatever he got, man, that's scary. Dimitri Bevel is undertaking a crazy exercise to gain strength for the upcoming fight. Raymond Hassim believes that WBA light heavyweight champion Bivol will be unable to withstand Bader Biev's firepower, pressure, or boxing abilities when the two clash. Hashim stated, It was a lovely performance. He did what he had to do. He kept his knockout stake alive. 
I don't even want to single out Bevel. I'm telling you that anybody that gets in the ring with that man better beef. They're going to sleep. If they don't go to sleep, they're going to get a mercy stoppage or their corner stops it or something. They're going to get hit harder than they've ever been hit. They're going to be hurt worse than they've ever been hurt. And they're going to lose the fight. They find excuses not to get in with Biterbiev. The unification should have happened, but if it happens, Bevel will lose. Artur Biterbiev has excellent boxing skills, a tremendous amateur background, and went to two Olympics. He has excellent skills, but no one has brought it out yet because his power is do devastating that it rules everything. Carl Frock has talked about a fight between light heavyweight champions Dmitry Bivol and Artur Bederbiev. Frock stated, You could see how Bivol could outmaneuver him with his fast feet and boxing skills and his fast hands and his fitness and keep out of his way. I don't think Bivol takes him on and has a dog fight with him. At times he'll mix, but he'll be better off getting on the move behind his slick boxing skills and high work rate. If anyone can beat him, beat or beef, it would be Bivol, but what a great fight that is. Robert Garcia believes that Bivol might also face some trouble against the knockout king Betterbeef. He thinks that in order to win this fight, Bivol has to be the better boxer. He stated, I think so too. But he's Bivol, gotta be a better fighter than Betterbeef. Because with Betterbeef, it's f***ing hard. So one punch, he also believes that Bivol has to move quickly to counter the power of Better Beef. He added, well, that's what Bivol's gonna do. Just boom, 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 touch, touch, and move, and touch, touch, and move. But that power is always there, man. That power is the last thing that leaves. But Better Beef has previously mentioned that he's not a big fan of Bivol, as he believes that he's not a good guy. As we edge closer to the fight night in Riyadh, one can't help but wonder, who will emerge as the undisputed light heavyweight champion? Share your thoughts and predictions below. Whose strategy do you believe will prevail?